Whoa! Hello everyone, Power Milk here, and welcome to another video. Today I'll be actually uh, doing a cooking video, I haven't done one in a while. I haven't done a cooking video since I've done the roulette cake. Now, uh, today I'll be making something I just kind of thought of, because uh, usually when I make, like, things at home most of the time, I don't really have a recipe, per se. So, um, I'm going to show you guys. So, um, growing up, my dad had taught me to make fried bread and pancakes and stuff like that from scratch, and you don't even need a recipe. Just show me how to do it, and I'm going <laughs> to explain to you what it is. Now, if you see it here, I have a waffle iron, and a few bit, bit, bit of the ingredients right here, the rest are in the fridge. Um, today's video, we are making ultimate chocolate waffles. Now, now, I'm not saying chocolate chip waffles, I'm saying chocolate waffles. Now, earlier today, I tried, earlier today, for breakfast, I made chicken and waffles for breakfast. Also, by the way, guys, happy Easter. I almost forgot to mention happy Easter, so. And, um, I get me thinking, hmm, I can make a really good dessert. So, we're going to make some chocolate waffles. Now, over here, we have, well, here's some ingredients I'm going to have. Here's some ingredients I have. I have some self-rising flour, which is a good thing. I also have some chocolate cocoa, a Hershey's cocoa. We got some vanilla extract. We got some confectioner's sugar. And of course, um, we have some, the refrigerant ingredients. There's going to be some milk. In my case, I have lactose free milk. Uh, we, it's going to need a single egg. And also, to, for, we're going to need chocolate syrup and something. And another thing on the list, which I'm going to show you guys right now, um, which is really good chocolate whipped cream. Now, this is going to be great. Now, earlier today, earlier, I was going to try to make brownie waffles, but I fucked those up. But that, that led me to the idea of filming this now. So, what? Awkward question whilst making a video, but did she go move when I was up there? Yes, she did. <laughs> she must have just pooped again because I cleaned everything off. No, I meant it's on like her legs and all that. That wasn't there before. First thing you know, you gotta wash your hands. Yeah. All right. Now, where's my paper towels? There they are. Hi, mom. Yeah. You gotta, you know, make sure we're nice and clean. Hands are nice and clean. Now, guys, in the day, now I'm about to uh, pause the video. We're gonna restart it again in just a few seconds. And um, I'll be with you in just a moment. So here we go. Um, the first thing we're going to do is the self-rising flour. Now, usually most people use regular flour and add, like, I can't remember which it was. It was baking soda or baking powder that makes it rise. But if you want to do that, that's your thing. I personally use self-rising flour for this situation because it makes it where it rises on its own. So um, we're going to need a bit of flour. So... Now I'm going to add a bit of chocolate nice. powder. Come on. More than that. Alright. Some confectioner's sugar, of course. This is my own thing, you know? Now we're going to whisk these together. Yeah, so you can see, we're going to mix it all so nice together, and make sure it's all even. Put a welt in the middle. Welt? You mean welt? Yeah, welt in the middle. So it's... I dropped my cap. <laughs> I'll pick that up just now. Put a little welt in the middle of that. For the wet ingredients that we're going to have in a few seconds. So, I'll grab the other ingredients while here. Okay, we got the milk, we're going to need the egg, which I'll take right here, and let's see, where's the syrup? The syrup's key. Now, we'll take and crack it, don't worry about any, just don't worry about any yolks or anything. Uh, 
I think I'm good at it. Just make a mistake. Also, if you notice, I'm wearing an apron from Paywar. What was the name of the person who made this apron? Rosanna Yeah, that. Rosanna Cantina. Um, she makes those nerdy, uh, nerdy nummies. Okay. So I just need a little bit of milk. Alright. Now, I'll serve her a cap of vanilla. There we go, we cut the vanilla. Now the chocolate syrup. Oh, I see you reading that book to her. Yep. Alright. Now, we're going to whisk this together. Well, this is going to be a take a bit, so you're going to make a, here's the thing though, so you guys know, that we're going to keep adding milk until it's the desired consistency. I'll explain the milk in a minute, uh, I'll explain the consistency I want in a minute. And now it's just well blending together. Alright, more milk. Okay. And now I'm just doing this. Now here's the thing. So when I was a uh, when I was growing up, my dad taught me how to make perfect pancakes and how to make their consistency work. You see, uh, my dad, uh, me and my dad worked in construction together, and we he taught me that pancake batter and pancake batter should always you know, have the consistency of two types of muds in work. Uh, so if you guys don't know, drywall mud is this white stuff that pastes your walls together to make it smooth. Smooth and also creates the texture patterns on there. So, and those of you who don't know what drywall is, if you use have plaster in your home, it's it's getting kind of a cheaper method than plaster. Um, um, well, anyway, well, mud, well, texture mud is supposed to be pancakes batter's texture. Um, those of you who would have ever worked with drywall should know this, although I doubt, I don't know how many people who actually do drywall do this, but anyway, um, this is about the right consistency I want it to be, so, here we go. Just take off the edges, the powdered edges, and just, alright, so we got the consistency one. And, but I don't have the right texture. Like, I don't have the color right. So, we're going to add more chocolate syrup. So, it blends in. There we go. And it's slightly darker, which is just what I wanted. It's the right color I want. Oh, boy. Yeah. Color I want. So. Yeah, that's perfect. So let's clear off their area. So yeah, so let's clear out here. Yeah, the, first, the next thing you know is clean up. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this out because we're going to need this later. So, next thing is... Oh, it's Alright, that's good. So, now we're going to heat up the waffle wire. So you know, you gotta make sure to grease up your right. the waffle iron is greased, we gotta let it heat up. And we'll be right back when it's start when it's ready. Alright, I think it's warm enough for now. So I'm gonna open it up and uh, we're gonna pop in, you know, our our 
Oh shit, where's my snitch? I need this to scoop out whatever's in there with these waffles. And there. And we're going to close it. It might, you know, ooze out. So I'm just going to wait for those to cook. And we'll be right back when I'm about to pop them out. Okay, these waffles are starting to smell good. I'm just going to grab me a plate. First, that. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm going to take a spatula. I'm very happy right now. Where's my spatula? You had a grumpy little girl. Here we are, spatula. Cleaned out of the dishwasher, so I'm just going to pop these out. There we go. Chocolate waffles. There we go. And close that real quick. We're going to use this later to make more. But now we're going to stick with this one. And we're going to do the main portion here. So, so, make sure these are separated for the, this process, for this. Okay. All right. Now, here's the best part. All right. I'm going to let these cool off a little bit before we get to them. So, we're right there. Now, right, guys, this part is going to be the part where you can going to start decorating it. All the goodies. No. Yeah. I need a chocolate whipped cream if I can get the cap off. There we go. It'll take a bit, a second. Okay. Get back on it. Now, here's the uh, whipped cream. Now we're going to add the chocolate sauce. Alright. In the edges. No, oh yeah, I forgot, almost forgot. I need the confectioner sugar back in this part. Now, now guys, I actually have a bit of the fucked up uh, waffles from before. So the brownie waffles. We're gonna use the front, the bits, some of the bits, garnish. Nice. There we go. Check out those. Check that out. That is fucking delicious. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, almost forgot. I gotta do the take. We gotta do the taste test. So let's uh, a waffle. Hmm. A full load. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying this. What? I'm trying these. Huh? Come over here. No. Who one? Uh -uh. The really good looking. Look at this. It does look good, but you know I need to be careful. Yeah, I know. The chocolate. What do I do? Just pick it up. Yeah, pick it up and take a bite. No, we have Reese's, uh... Oh, yeah, we have Reese's, uh... We also have some Reese's one, yeah. But how is it? It tastes okay. I just think it's a little cocoa. That's what I like about them. We need to buy more eggs. Well, I guess, hope you guys like that, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye!